Hello and welcome to a new video about how to connect those things of my temperature controlling thing here. Alright? So actually, what we've got here is this motor controller. It's actually a motor controller, but this motor, this is why it's printed here motor. Yeah? But this motor controller, I'm going to use it and, and control here at my, at my heat at my controlling device I will control that the heat so these red and 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 black lines here these are just uh, just this is the this is actually the the Peltier element so this will heat and cool and I will, I will plug this where motor is written yeah? so I will use this because you know the motor is turning left if we have plus and minus and this one direction is turning right if we have plus and minus other direction. And here we actually do the same. We are going plus if we heat, we have plus and minus in one direction. If we cool, we have plus and minus in the other direction. We also need to have here these are uh, connected to my power source here. So I will simply connect them to plus here. This is 24 volt, uh, 12 volts. We're using 12 volts, yeah? plus 12 volts, and minus, minus liners. So no, now the power part is connected. Yeah? The only thing we still need to connect is the control part. See if everything is firm. Yes. The only thing we have to connect is the control part. Well, and there is written ground in one and in two. And in one and in two will originally it should it should control the the direction. And we are not going the direction, we are going to control the heat transport. So ground will in my case I will use this cable here. Ground will be the brown cable, I will connect it to ground, and here I will connect it to heat and cool, and heat and cool, these are, these are the two outputs here, I will, I don't know, I'm not exactly sure if this fits now, yeah, because, you know, it's heat and cool, and if I'm if I'm doing it vice versa, we are heating and cooling in the other direction. But we will find out. We will find out. So now, actually, that's it. That's it. Let's see what is happening if I plug in my power supply here. Okay. Fan is co coming on down here. The fan is coming on. Here we have a power. Okay, then we will also plug in the Arduino, the control part. Twenty-three degree. So I will now turn this on, and I will set the set point to twenty, twenty percent, and then we will see what is happening, if it's cooling or heating. Actually, it should get hotter. Actually, right now, nothing is happening. Let's heat it to 50. Ah, it's dropping. The temperature is dropping. So I guess we are cooling now. Guess we are cooling now. I'm not exactly sure if this is getting hot. What is the temperature? Ah, I can read the temperature, the other temperatures. Process. Heatsink. Yes, the heatsink is getting hotter. And the air temperature is 24. 
All right, all right, so I've plugged it the wrong way. So now we are not cooling, when we are not heating, we are cooling. So actually I will unplug the power source. Unplug this. So the only thing I have to do is to twist those two cables. Now heating and cooling is corrected. Plug this in, plug this in. <laughs> what is happening now? Not, it's no longer working. Reset. Uh huh. Probably we have lost the connection. Ooh, yeah. What have I done? Ooh. I mixed up the plugs. What is happening? Okay, now I can still uh, over. You should use the correct connections, alright? So now, main page, actual temperature is correcting value set to 50 and see if we now going, turn on, if we now go in the right direction Yes. Now the actual temperature is rising. So now it's really heating up. Oh, I cannot read. Yeah. See, the actual temperature is now rising. And let's see. Something smelling? No. Mm -hmm. It's getting warm. It's getting warm and this thing here, it's cold. What is the temperature of the heat sink? Twenty three degree. The air is twenty four. The process, yes, it's getting hotter. Good. Ah, it's warm. Let's see, and if we are if we are going this to minus fifty now, let's cool. Now we are really, really heating it up. Huh? This is a typical behavior of those Peltier elements that this transition between heating and cooling is not is not nicely working. Yeah? But now, any minute now, we should see the temperature dropping again. I'll set it to minus 100. Full cool. Let's see how how much we might drop. Heating is working much better than cooling because you know the efficiency is very low of those Peltier elements. They are around, I'm not sure if they even reach 10%. Yeah? So we have, if we only have 10% cooling and on the other hand, on the other side, we do have 90% heating. Yeah? So. Heating is working much better. You see, now it's dropping. What is the heat sink temperature? Oh, the heat sink. Oh, the heat sink. 
is having also some heat sink temperature 27 degree look yeah it's just thought this is not too too cold now it's getting hotter and hotter the heat sink now i said to transport a little bit of warmth from this side to the other side we have to add 10 times more around yeah so here on the on the hot end 10 times more energy is produced then on the cool end reduced yeah but yeah now it really is dropping now <laughs> it is working it is working yes 20 degree is it cold <gasps> Ooh, it is cold it is it's not ice cold, but it's cold. I think this is lying. It feels colder than it is. And, and then on the other hand, it's aluminium. Yeah, and aluminium metal always feels cold. And see, we're dropping, we're dropping. What is what is the heatsink temperature doing? Ma, 30 degree. It's not that high. It's not that time. 16. Let's wait how far we get. <laughs> 8 degree. So it is indeed cooling. I will now turn off. Yeah. Then we will see this really rising, hopefully. Yeah, because now the heat from the from the heating is now flushing back to our to our cool side here. We should see this really rising now. But I will also turn. I will now switch to the switching controller. Yeah. Turn on, and I will set it to. I don't know, I don't know, let's set it to 30 degree, we should see it then stopping at, I don't know, 29, I will adjust the parameters back to this to this 5 degree cool on I will set to 5 degree again ooh not 50 5 and this I will set to minus 5 so the original parameters So at 29 we should see at least the heat turning off. What? What was the set point? Aha, 30. All right, we've, we've watched the wrong temperature. Yeah. So you know, woo, it's still rising. Now we should see the cooling turn on. Probably. Took yes, now we cool this thing. Now this looks not stable. Ah. Well, anyway, so we can. There's really. Is this really hot? Oh, ooh, 36 degree, like a hand. We should see this cool now. And uh, now the temperature is dropping. And at 31 degrees we should see the cool turned off. Actually it's not a two point controller, it's a three point controller. Because we have cool heat. 
and do nothing. And now if we are dropping below, below 31, we should see that the cooling is turned off. Mm -hmm. Alright, now ah, you have seen it is working. Uh, so the basic principle is good. Yeah. Uh, switching controller seems also to have control at least a little bit about this. Is this getting hot? No, not really. Uh, switching controller does have uh, control about this about this device. Next thing we are going to do is to implement also the BRD controller. And I also I do not like that this temperature set point is staying where it stays. Yeah, so we will follow, make a follow up. Ah, now we're heating again. <laughs> okay. But this next time we will implement the BID controller and the, and the bumpless changeover. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.